Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make Outlook portable and secured. Now you can do this by using um, a flash drive or a portable hard drive or the memory on your mobile phone if you have the USB leads to connect it, but you will need some form of portable storage. Um, as well, we're going to, this uh, method will encrypt your data, uh, so if it's lost or falls into the wrong hands it will be secured by a password. Okay, so first of all to do this we're going to go to www.demailer.com that's D-M-A-I-L-E-R press enter and we're going to download Demailer Sync from their website. Get this from software Demailer Sync. Here's one I downloaded and extracted earlier. So I'm just going to double click the mailersync.exe um, here. Now it's important when you download it that you actually save it to uh, your storage device. Um, in my case it's a portable flash drive. Okay and once that opens, just accept the agreement. Next. And to try. Just going to fill out the registration uh, quickly. and register. Okay, so next we're going to need to create a, a profile name. You can use my profile as the default um, and a minimum four letter password. Just going to add that quickly. Um, and next you can also leave a password hint and uh, enter some lost and found information. So first of all, um, we just need to check uh, what what Outlook or Windows Mail, which email client we wish to, to make portable. Um, so for this exercise we're going to do Outlook, um, but you could do Windows Mail or Exchange. Um, we're not going to take any files with us to make this uh, the synchronization a bit quicker, or any uh, favourites or bookmarks. Um, so we're just going to uncheck all of that. Now something that you can do is under the advanced settings here, if you didn't want to take everything, maybe you just wanted your calendar when you're on your road, on the road or your contacts, um, you can select these items here or the folders. Um, and alternatively you can apply uh, size and date filters on the folders you choose to synchronize. So we just click OK there. And uh, next. Okay, we're not going to synchronize with Skype either, but you can take Skype Portable as well if you want to. We're going to skip. Okay. Alright, so that looks like it's done. Okay, excellent. So now what we've effectively done is we've synchronized all our uh, contacts into the mail sync and uh, email data. So if we go under emails here, we'll be able to see a few of our emails. Uh, we can see our contacts, our uh, calendars, um, tasks, notes and so on. Um, so this would be the same if we plugged our flash drive into another computer and launched Dmail Sync. Um, this will uh, require a login and then we'll, we'll come here. Okay, so there's one other thing to show you and that will be the, the send and receive emails. Okay, so to configure the email client, you just need to click Options and uh, Incoming Email Settings. Now, the, what actually happens is it, it takes the settings that you use on your computer's Outlook as default. Uh, this is why these are already uh, filled in. Um, if you wanted to uh, use a different account or uh, create a new account, um, this is how you do it. So under the advanced settings and we can change here um, our account details. Now if you're not sure uh, your incoming mail service account, um, the, the address of that, I've got some of the major ones provided here for you. Um, so you may need to uh, pause on this page to write them all down, but as an example, if we were using a um, Hotmail account, we would take uh, pop3.live.com as the incoming mail server, and uh, noting that that's on port 995, and then we come over here and we add add that, and we change the port to 995. Now this account will have a password as well. 
Okay, and uh, I believe that's SSL. I'll just check again. Yep, it's, uh, SSL. Okay, and then we just click OK. Okay, and now we need to configure the outgoing email settings. There's something very interesting about the email settings here. In fact, the email sync is its own SMTP server. So that's to say you can actually um, create your own outgoing email address here. It doesn't have to uh, register with the server in order to do that. So you could make yourself become this person. Um, and uh, if we turn that off, that will use the email sync's internal uh, email server, which means uh, you don't need to connect to a, a, a server to send email. This is particularly handy if you're using Internet Cafe or something like that. Sometimes they block uh, port 25 to stop um, spamming and things like that throughout airports and stuff. Um, so if that happens, you can always come in here and use the internal email address by turning it off. Uh, if you want to use yours so that you know you have a record of these things on uh, when you log into your mail, then we need to come and grab the SMTP address here. Okay, and we just double check it's on port 25. Okay, and we just add these. Okay, the port's 25. And if you need authentication, uh, you can add it there. If you're not sure of some of your, your settings, just Google it um, your SMTP settings for uh, your uh, Gmail account or your Hotmail account or Yahoo whatever you're using for your email and uh, you should be able to find those settings okay so just to summarize from here we've synchronized our Outlook um, and uh, everything's away on our key now when we want to use this again we simply plug uh, our USB key in launch the mail sync and that will also resynchronize with our current Outlook. So if we do that again in our computer, um, any emails you've sent or edited or changed or calendar appointments you've added while you're on the road or anything else that you've done to your computer, so to Outlook on your computer, um, such as create new emails or maybe you receive some, they will both be synchronized between uh, this portable copy and your actual Outlook. So you don't have to worry about your work being lost when you're out on road. You just plug it back in and synchronize. Um, you can send and receive emails and um, so it's uh, pretty much everything you need when you're on the road. Now just one last uh, look in case you'd like these settings. Um, here they are and once again if you need something else that's not found there you can find them on the internet. Okay I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.